Another sort of fun tool to play around with is called Height Field from Image. Surface, Height Field from Image. So let's click that. Let's pick a picture here. This is a arches, sort of reflective pictures you can see in the preview window. Open. Now then, you can see I'm kind of forced to draw a square here that conforms to the exact ratio, the size ratio of the picture. Once I left click, height 10 millimeters, number of sample points 20 by 20, control points at sample locations, or interpolate surface through samples. Let's leave that as default, press OK. And so there it is. You can see a very, very rough kind of three-dimensional cutout of that spherical shape. Darker colors tend to be deeper impressions and lighter colors are higher. I'd like to move this over and once again height field from image, the same image, open, we'll make it a similar shape here, interpolate, OK. Let's see if we can tell a difference. The interpolate option leaves a lot more nicks and valleys, as you can tell. So almost like a fractal type of generator, the height field from image can actually create some pretty neat landscape type of objects extremely quickly, as you can see here if I zoom right in. And then, of course, height field from image. You can always control the complexity by height. We can change this to 40. Sample points, we could change this to 30 by 30. Control points, OK. And let's take a look here. much greater difference. When you look at it dead on from the front, you can almost see some of the picture, some of the original picture. And so there you can see the height field from bitmap can give you some interesting effects and has some parameters that you can play around with.